again, I still maintain the point that the party, every possible means, pardon I using uh, it is, is not a, a common figure that we can take out from the successes of the NDC, especially in the North, mm. especially with this constituency. So if you want to treat him in a negative way, that is bad. If you have a reservation as to his um, contribution to the party or something, probably you want to have a change. It's about dialogue. It's about negotiation. All right. And give reasons, give him reasons why it should be changed. All right. And let him understand it. After all, if the party says they are changing, you cannot say he will still be in that position. Okay. All concerning a uh, party, it has been in the room. Right. And discussions should have gone on. You know. But I want to believe that. So um, probably the party did the right thing, you know, to effect that change of of a written. Mm. Okay, what what he speaks, what he says, how he speaks to his own people, his constituency, his followers, the tenants, you know, their behavior. All right. So if he doesn't, you know, sort of take the news in good taste and gets angry and probably you know which will be detrimental to the uh, prospects of the party then of course you get people to back him hmm. certainly that one you get people to back him and you see when you look at honorable harina um network hmm. you know up north it is not only in his constituency where he is the MP. Mm. He has other networks in other constituencies, you know, in all the northern regions. Mm. And I even hear that he has helped other constituencies, you know, to get over certain problems that they were facing. Uh, mm. He has contributed to certain constituencies in terms of education road construct and, and stuff mm. all right and so it is his, his his influence is not really limited he resides as mp that's earlier when i said that he is not that kind of ordinary person that you can take any decision against him you know any day any time mm. without proper consultation 